Kate launched in a long burgundy coat dress with a matching Sean Barrett hat to greet SA president. Prince William and Kate joined King Charles as he welcomed a foreign leader for an official state visit for the first time as monarch. Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, looked exquisite in an Amelia Wickstead coat dress, which she paired with a matching hat as she welcomed South Africa President Cyril Ramaphosa. Alongside her husband, Prince William, to the UK on Tuesday, November 22nd. Kate greeted Ramaphosa before leaving her for the Horse Guards Parade to regard a welcoming ceremony along with King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla. The mother of three flaunted herself in a long burgundy coat dress with a matching Sean Barrett hat and a $550 mulberry bag. She teamed it up with a $600 Gianvito Rossi pump for the look. Middleton took to the occasion to pay a subtle tribute to her late mother-in-law with the outfit as she wore pearl earrings that were gifted to Diana before the wedding to the then Prince Charles in 1981. The princess wore her brunette locks in a trademark bouncy blow-dry style. Moreover, her makeup was kept neutral along with thick eyeliner and nude lipstick. Kate is known to fancy Amelia Wickstead dresses as she has worn them on several occasions. During the event, she also pinned the Princess of Wales feather brooch to her chest, which was given to Diana by Queen Elizabeth upon her exchanging rings with Prince Charles. Diana's favorite Collingwood earrings, which she sported on royal tours of Australia, Canada, and Italy, feature a teardrop-shaped diamond stud that is attached to an additional round diamond and a bell cap set with three more rows of small diamonds. The bell caps each hold a pearl drop. Ramaphosa and his wife were officially greeted by Charles' eldest son and heir, Prince William, and his wife Kate at a central London hotel to mark the start of his two-day trip, the first state visit to the UK by a world leader since the former US President Donald Trump and his wife Melania in 2019. The President will then join Charles and Camilla, as well as the Prince and Princess of Wales, in a carriage procession along the Mall to Buckingham Palace, where they will be greeted by a second honor guard found by the 1st Battalion Coldstream Guards. More than 1,000 soldiers and 230 horses lined up on a chilly horse guards parade to mark the beginning of Cyril Ramaphosa's two-day stay. The Queen Consort was alongside the King as they later traveled with Mr. Ramaphosa to Buckingham Palace in the Irish State Coach which the British monarch normally takes the Palace of Westminster to formally open the new legislative session of the UK Parliament. The Prince and Princess of Wales followed in the Australian state coach with Dr. Naledi Pandor, the South African Minister of International Relations. After a private lunch at Buckingham Palace, the King will invite Mr. Ramaphosa to view an exhibition at the Picture Gallery of Items from the Royal Collection relating to South Africa. In the afternoon, the President will visit Westminster Abbey, where he will lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Warrior, before taking a tour that will include the Memorial Stone for Nelson Mandela, the South African President from 1994 to 1999.